Hi guys and girls, this is Junk here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Boris Johnson. You can see, he says he wants to join the army. See what people think about the news channel and real life boys and girls, men and women. I don't know if this is a different type of video about the army. It could be different. Let's put it on the scene and find out what we can see, eh? So, Lance Corporal Johnson reporting for duty and responding to the appeal from General Sanders for a citizen army and encouraging young people across the country to think of the attractions, advantages of some kind of military training <coughs> or service. Because <coughs> at the moment they think it's either uncool or unethical, or perhaps the they're not there. following Eater. General Sanders, they're following Colonel Sanders. We should all stop running to Colonel Sanders on about KFC. Listen here, Boris Johnson, you tubby titted little fuck. Get yourself a fucking rifle and get yourself over to fucking Ukraine. And stop being a fucking melt. This is interesting from Jerry on 84850 who says, when you see your country is being led by the smug public schoolboys who parted their way through the pandemic while us plebs generally tried to follow the rules, why should you want to defend such a country? So the UK is going to war with Russia. <coughs> but who would I fight for? Because I'm Russian and I'm British. I've got both a Russian and British passport. But who would I fight for? World War Three. I don't want to fight for anyone. Russia is the biggest country in the world. And it's the biggest shithole in the world. The UK, I mean, the last few prime ministers have just made me hate the UK so much. Like, I don't, it's not worth fighting for any of these countries. Furthermore, this is the completely wrong generation to go to war in. Like, you're going to be shooting someone, and you're going to be making TikToks at the same time. You came out to prepare for war, my fucking ass. Don't get us involved in it. Really, I just want to live a peaceful fucking life. Why do I have to get involved in it? Why is it always the civilians who don't want the fucking war? You know what the world leaders need to do is have a fucking orgy and get it over and done with and then solve the conflict that way. Just a big fat fucking orgy. Get your tension out. Reasons why I can't go to war. Reason number one, here we go. I still say wee when I drive right on a roundabout. I'm not built for this, yeah? I'm too small to drive the tanks. What if I can't see over? And then, like, Vladimir and the boys are shooting at me. Then what? Right? Reason number two, knee injury sustained in the year five, year six, El Clasico. Um, in 2007, it was a big game. I sacrificed it all then. I can't go to war again. Yeah, I've already been in the trenches. Reason number three, what if the Russians send those Khabib donnies? You know those MMA donnies? We ain't beating them. They wrestle bears. There's nothing we can do with that. Imagine losing a war by a triangle choke. Reason number four, I'm circumcised. I don't know why that's relevant, but it definitely is. It just feels like it should be. That Rishi Sunak could take a run and jump off the highest bridge if he thinks I'm participating in any fucking war. I have a child I need to take after, to look after, do you know what I mean? Who's got to feed her, if not me? Like, the thing that's like getting me the most is you've just got a bunch of men arguing, threatening, threatening to blow each other's countries up and here we are, a bunch of fucking mugs being told that we're having a go to war not got any fucking idea why we're going to war or what's happening or why they're even beefing each other do you know what I mean? All I'm fucking 100% sure eh, is that they're wanting us to go to war with Russia Russia eh, every country you're picking Russia like that Putin is missing at least four screws he will fuck us up and you're expecting us just to be fine with it and start fucking training to get ready for war. Oh, hell no. Like, how about you? You go to war. This is your beef. You solve it yourself, do you know what I mean? But instead, they'll be in their wee underground bunkers or flying to fucking Dubai. <laughs> this is kind of awkward, um, but sorry, Rish. I can't actually um, go to war for Russia because I'm working that day. I've used up all my holidays, so like, <coughs> I just want to have a go with my boss, <coughs> by all means, <coughs> right. uh, uh, you're going to find someone else in front of I'm not going to war. Number one, I'm too fat. I feel like that is the main thing. I can't run. Um, if you put me on the front line, my knee will simply crumble. Number two, I'm not even getting to the front line. I'm still in bed. I'm not getting up. Number three, Imagine someone shouting at me because I've made my bed wrong. Get fucked. Get fucked! You made your bed wrong, put the corner. Oh, who are you shouting at? Not me. I'm not being shouted at him. I'm 35 years old, not shouting at me. Oh, I think I might be too old. 
I think I might be too old for the war. Can't do it, sorry. Too old, too fat, too tired. And don't make a very good bed. No, no. Send other people. Some people that want to go. I don't want to go. Some people want to go. Some people like that shit. They're like in the army and that. Mm -mm. Send them. I don't want to go. Thank you for your service, but it's not for me. No way! World War Three is confirmed, and the UK are gonna make us the public go to war. What? Broski Sunak, I do not consent to this. I kindly decline your request. Look at this Sunak getting himself into beef he can't manage. Trouble in Russia. Russia, you must be mad. And then thinking we're coming to back his beef. I've never even voted for you, fam. And the army's got a shortage of people. Listen, big man, you better strap up them boots and go on the front line yourself, because it ain't going to be us. The UK public could be called to fight a war. Who, me? Me? Nah, not me, bro. Not, not me, not me. Can you imagine sending me to scrap some six foot five Russian don yeah, with cauliflower ears, yeah? Guy eats bricks for breakfast, washes it down with petrol. Are you stupid, bro? My mum is never going to see me again, I promise you, right now. We're barely surviving the cost of living crisis and you must send us to war. I'm fighting a war against my bank account already, and I'm losing. I can barely get through a 30 second TikTok video here without some guy driving his car in GTA, subway surfers, or Peter Griffin at the bottom busting jokes, and they think I can train for a war. Have they lost their mind, man? You know what they should do? Draft up all the roadmen and get them to fight. They all have first class degrees in shanking guys. You might as well put them to use. The UK will be unbeatable. Listen, yeah, the Algerian military service has both of us dodging already, yeah, and now we've got to dodge the English one as well. What are we supposed to wear this point, man? Live in some random country like Iceland where no one's going to come bother us. At this point, we can't even go to the local corner shop without turning behind and seeing if the British army are after us. Life is tough, man. I don't know why the girlies are stressed about getting drafted because we're all medically exempt. Like, I don't know any girl that would not have a doctor's note that could get out of it. Like, like, gut problems or mental illness would be medical exemptions because how the fuck are you going to drive a tank into war and then have an IBS played up? Like, you're not going to be able to do that. And then also, you can't even get into, like, the merchant navy if you have mental illness because who is someone with suicide ideation going to drive a ship? So, like, there's no chance I'm driving a tank into war if I have, like, a suicide ideation. Like, I'd veer the fucking tank off. Like, you're not... We're all gonna have doctor's notes. Like, relax. I would, but I'd, I'd like to be, like, on the online team. Yeah, I wouldn't fight them on the beaches, but maybe the forums. <laughs> uh, I would uh, probably try to avoid that if I could. I think I would crumble. My mental my mental stability is not uh, strong enough to be on the front lines. Conscription is a, a, a long-established practice in this country. No, I've got a bad knee. Do you think it's the right thing to do for them to do? If it's in defence of the country, yes. I feel like I wasn't put on this earth to go to war. I'm not built for it. I'd crumble after a couple of days. I'd, uh, I'd cow it out somehow. Uh, why is that? I don't. I don't think it's our job to do it. All right, Rishi, guys. Let's have it. Now, I'm not really a girl of conflict, but I would let you draft me into the army if you followed these three conditions. One, you work for a whole week as a HCA. I'm talking proper 12-hour shit, but realistically 14 because you're never going to leave on time. And I want full record of how many asses you've wiped. Number two, bring back down the price of a Freddo to 10p. Freddo inflation is not okay. Sort it out. And last but not least, you learn how to use a fucking hammer. And as you can tell, your gal's never gonna get drafted because little man will see you as a Everyone's talking about possible conscription against the war in Russia. Personally, I wouldn't join that conscription for a few reasons. Number one, why would I fight for a government who doesn't care about its citizens? especially veterans who are still on the street, or disabled people who have their benefits cruelly taken away from this government. Remember, many of our army personnel return to this country disabled, and the government are clearly not looking after them. There's so many reasons why I wouldn't want to fight for this country. Firstly, our dads, granddads, great-granddads all fought because they had something to fight for. They built this country with their own hands. Industry was fantastic. It was a simple way of living, but they knew they had something to live for, worth fighting for. And the England that they created, you sold off. You sold this country out properly. There's our telecoms, British gas, the rail, closing our coal mines. And now it looks like you're for the steel workers. And piece by piece, you're taking the NHS as well. And you think we're going to thank you by going to fucking war in your name? To quote the great Willie Ross, you've got more chance of seeing a one-legged cat burying a turd on a frozen pond. I'm sat here naked eating a bowl of yogurt. Really about how we might have to... <coughs> how we might have to go to war. <laughs> how I might have to be sent... to war. <laughs> Are they okay? They want to send me, little girl, naked, eat a bowl of yoghurt, to the front line. It's that bloodline. Are you insane? <laughs> Are they okay? 
Are they okay? What? Not me getting drafted. You must be insane. Wish, look, um, I'm going to leave it. Um, my eczema is playing up at the moment. I've got a new prescription for the doctors. And you know them creams take a while to kick in. Um, and then on top of that, you know, my depression, I've just been up and down. Haven't been feeling um, the best. And then, you know, since um, Christmas, I've put the patterns on. I mean, I've tried on the combat that you sent. And um, thanks for that, by the way. Th that I ain't going to look good. I want to make sure I'm looking my best on the front line. So you go, you go, send me some snaps. Let me know how it is. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a good time. Just just let me know how it goes and I'll, I'll text you later and see what you're doing, all right? And here's five reasons why I, as a bookworm, cannot be drafted at all. Sorry. Right, reason number one. I have a 400 book TBR that I refuse to leave at home because I need to finish it before I die. So, where are we going to put it? Where are we going to put it? Also, enemies to lovers is one of my favourite tropes, so sorry I will be falling in love with enemies. What can I say? Reading is my priority for 2024, so unfortunately I honestly just don't have time to be drafted into World War III. Next one, I just can't run. Like, I physically cannot run. I have been trying to run. Any excuse run. not to get in. So, like, I'm just not physically army. for it, so it's not happening. And the last one, the most important one. Imagine I'm here with my little army backpack on in the middle of the wall with my books inside and they're all going to get squished, dirty, bent and broken. It's, it's just not happening. Those books are way too precious. I'm not getting my spine creased for World War Three for Rishi Sunak. No. Let me make this crystal fucking clear. I don't like the UK. Why on God's name and earth am I going to fight for you? Pee off. I don't involve myself with you war citizens. Me, I'm not from the UK. I'm from a long lost island in Uganda. I will never ever associate myself with you new you, you, you get what I mean, you United citizens. Goodbye. You see when Rishi Sunak calls me, my phone's on DND. I'm nowhere to be seen. Hey, listen people, I'm hearing some stuff about we're gonna have to go to war. They're gonna call us to go to war. Hey, listen, me nah, I got nowhere. Nah, fight for them blood clap people, you're both with them, but Archie, you're going to the war. Hell no, no really. But they need you, bro. Run now. <laughs> Listen, I ain't got nothing to do with that war. So what, what, what's, the, what's, their, what's their president's name? Putin. Putin. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, don't beat me for that. But listen, my guy, I'm not in the war, you get me? So allow me, brother. You see me? Nothing to do with me. You know what? Nothing from you. You see me? So, love, peace, and respect to the man. You see me? Yeah. As me now fighting that blood clot war for England. You might. What's that? I've got to go to war. What now? Oh, man. I've just started this film on Netflix. And, well, do I have to do the training? Kind of, like, I think I'll be all right. I've, I've played like fair Call of Duty. What? We'll fight them on the beaches. That sounds all right, the mining beach. Where's it, like, like Ocean Beach? I'll bring my swimming shorts, innit? Get some selfies in there. What's the uniform like? Oh, that sounds well uncomfortable, man. Hard, hard to wear a tracksuit or something. Where is it? Russia. Can't we do it in Iron Apple or something like that? Marching near the wall. Excuse me, gentlemen, but is there a plug truck for me, can The trenches are quite bright. There's Amazons in over here. You rationing what? I'm just shaving my hair and then rushing the skincare product. Day in the life on the battlefield. So we woke up at like six in the morning, ate our morning meal rations and discussed how we're going to win the war. Why don't we just like cancel Putin? Yes, yeah, yeah, so I was literally just saying this, right? Like boycott Russia. After this, we were told we were going to serve for our country and I was so excited because there's no one better than me at serving. But then the sergeant threw me a bunch of dusty clothes and a gun and I realised it wasn't that type of serving. Sergeant, do you have to watch me while I'm getting changed? Yes. The fit kind of slayed though, so I wasn't complaining. After this, we went to the battlefield and I realised my friend brought in a vape. Is this Blue Raspberry? Yeah, it's laying in it. As we were heading down to the battlefield, we ran into this Russian camp and I was kind of scared at first, but they were actually super chill. We decided to let him go in exchange for some vape liquid. We had like five minutes until the battle started, so we decided to take some Instagram pictures and make a TikTok. Okay, I'm passing the phone to the bitch that can't even throw a grenade. <gasps> yes, I can. No, you can't. You literally went. As soon as you got on the battlefield, you realized it was a big mistake letting the Russians go because they snitched on us, literally got caught by some Russian soldiers. It was so scary. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to go to a Russian prison. Uh, then I broke my nail.
Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I caught this point, but I popped off, shot down all the Russian soldiers, I was so proud of myself, went back to the camp to tell everyone, and they already knew. But she came back to like a standing ovation, I got these little medals for like bravery and honor, it was so cute. The French girl sticks my nails and got me a new set of French tips. Get on ready with me to be drafted into war. Please, what's the vibe? Are we doing camo pants or cycling shorts? Do you think Uber Eats deliver here? Is the Wi-Fi password trenches one, two, three? I'm just looking at Timu, babe. They've got some really nice stick-on diamonds for our guns. Not me fighting for the country. These Russians are definitely rationing. Ugh, Richie well, Sunak did not understand go. the assignment. We're going to go into the second one. Oh, the I don't know if it's another one they can go on to, but anyway, thank you for joining me in this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.